Hey everyone, welcome to the tech channel. Today we're gonna see thermocouple key type, which is this one. It's a temperature sensor, and we're gonna see it how to use it with the Max 6675 to uh, read the temperature measure in the Arduino Uno board. So the thermocouple key type is a temperature sensor, as I said and its range is very big it's from uh, 0 degree celsius up to 1424 uh, degree celsius and it can withstand as i said very high temperatures so if you have an application about this you can use it it's very simple to use so the difference about uh, with the other modules or uh, sensors this uh, thermocouple key type generates like uh, a voltage uh, on its uh, pins so it's not variation of uh, resistance or something it generates a voltage and this uh, chip here like uh, uh, converts the signal up to digital signal so we can see it on our Arduino board so and as you can see we're gonna test it with our multimeter I hope you can see the reading so I'm going to change to continuous voltage I'm going to check the angle if you can see and I'm going to measure between the pins of the thermocouple it's already wired here so I have the plus and the minus and as you can see it's 002 millivolt in ambient air now I'm gonna like put this into uh, some hot water I have here and we're gonna read uh, some variation and as you can see the voltage is getting higher But the variation as you can see it's a little bit slow because it needs a really high uh, temperatures to generate a, a good voltage and as you can see the module isn't wired with our Arduino board or uh, something it just generate the voltage by itself so now we're gonna use it with our Arduino board so the wiring is pretty much simple we have the ground and VCC always with the 5 volt and the ground from Arduino board then we have the SCK it goes to 6 I think let me check yes this clock goes to 6 then there is the chip select which goes to 5 and then the serial output or digital output go, goes to 4 in our Arduino board so this is it for the wiring it's pretty much simple now let's see the code and the library to use this uh, chip which is max 6675 and so I don't forget the thermocouple use the Seebeck effect you can look it up more in the internet if you want it's just the variation between two parts like the uh, cold solder and hot solder to generate uh, the voltage so the library and the wiring you're gonna find them in the link uh, right below the library I downloaded it from github it will be a link for sure and then I opened like uh, an example you know how to install a library just go to sketch and include library add a point zip library and you add the one then I took the example just from here serial thermocouple example then I did some modifications so and that's it here we declare our pins like 4, 5, 6 as we wired here and not in much you just declare the as thermocouple which is uh, 
CLK and term CS and the digital output and then you transfer the code to your Arduino board So that's it, it gives us the temperature in Celsius and the Fahrenheit and we can put it in the hot water again That's it, as you can see the module can withstand very high temperature and water resist this is uh, a low temperature for this module as we can as we said it uh, stands up to 1000 degrees Celsius now we can add like our LCD screen if you want it's always here in my desktop so the LCD screen also simple to use just ground and then 5 volt, the 5 volt I'm gonna take it from here because I'm running out of pins then I have A4 and A5 it's DA with A4 and it's CL with A5 you know how we wire our LCD screen, I use here uh, much of the time, I use it you can check uh, previous tutorial to see how to use it so as I said the uh, 5 volt pin I'm gonna take it here from the VCC over here and we're gonna wire our Arduino Then I modified the code to make it like work for uh, the LCD screen too. It's not a big deal. Okay, so now we have the readings. They are this is simple. Gonna remove it from the hot water. Oh I removed the five volt pin because it's not placed correctly. the temperature is going down so that's it for the thermocouple nothing difficult just install the library and use it for your high temperature uh, applications or projects like for an oven or something it's pretty robust as you can see the building is pretty robust and can withstand high temperatures and difficult conditions that's it for the Thermocop K type and the uh, Max 6675 and please leave a like, like and subscribe and see you next time.